Ahoy sailors, this is Jimmy and welcome back to Pesca Foodie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome Middle Eastern dessert that is Leali Beirut. Some people also call it Leali Lebanon and it translates into Berujan night or Lebanese night. It's basically a milk pudding type of cake and it is uh, very popular here. So today I'm going to be showing you my take on this recipe with a couple of my twists. So let's get started. First I'm going to deseed a vanilla bean which I have shown you a couple of times how to do before. So Now for the base we use semolina and milk. So in a saucepan over a medium high heat, we're gonna put the semolina, milk, and vanilla seeds. It's not traditional to add any vanilla in this at all. So this is my addition. But in addition to that, I'm going to add a sprig of fresh lavender. Now this will give this uh, base a very unique flavor and uh, I think it makes uh, a nice difference. So you can add it in or just keep it out, whichever you prefer. Now stir it over a medium heat until it starts to thicken. It will take about 10 minutes and you have to keep on stirring it the whole time because this could burn at the bottom and you don't want that to happen. So when it looks like that, you want to take it off the heat and then just pour it into a greased springform pan. Now this cake is traditionally served in a Pyrex dish or a rectangular or square dish. It's never made in a round dish, but I guess you could say this is my twist on it. Now make sure this layer is leveled out and put it in the fridge to set. It will take a couple of hours. Now before we put it in the fridge, I'm going to add a layer of pistachios. Now it's very traditional to serve this with pistachios on top but I'm gonna add it in between the layers. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these pistachios in the coffee grinder, pulse them a few times until they are ground, and then I'm gonna sprinkle them on top of the base. Make sure it's level and put it in the fridge to set. Now when the base is set, you want to make the cream uh, topping or filling, whichever you want to call it. And uh, for that, you're going to need some heavy cream, which I'm going to whip up until it forms soft peaks. Then I'm going to be making some vanilla pudding. Now this is the way we prepare it here. We use uh, instant vanilla pudding. You could also use your favorite uh, pudding recipe or just store-bought ready to go pudding. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adding a cup and a half of milk. The packet says to add two cups of milk but I'm using a cup and a half instead of two cups that it says on the packet just because I want this to be thick and hold up nicely when we cut it. So I would suggest you use uh, three-fourths the amount that the packet says and uh, you should be fine. And then just whip it up for a couple of minutes until it is nice and smooth and stiff and then you want to mix the cream and the pudding together. You know you could add some rose water or orange blossom water to this or even some uh, orange zest uh, those flavors are very traditional but not many people do that so I left it plain then just spread it evenly onto the base and put it in the fridge for at least four hours to set up and here I'm just gonna garnish it with some more ground pistachios now if you notice we did not add any sugar to the base nor to the filling and that is because this cake is served with a simple syrup and I'm gonna be showing you how to make this So to start, you're going to need a saucepan on a medium heat and you're going to add equal amounts of sugar and water. About a cup or a cup and a half will be fine for this cake. Now it's up to you if you want to flavor your simple syrup or not, but I do prefer to add some flavorings to it. Now what I did is I added a pinch of salt and the vanilla beans that I have deseeded for the base and a little lemon wedge. This will infuse and add a nice flavor to the syrup. Now keep on stirring this until all the sugar is dissolved. That will take about 5-7 to seven minutes and once it does, you just uh, set it aside to cool down completely. And once you take out the cake from the fridge, you want to go ahead and slice it and then spoon some of that delicious syrup on top. As you can see, the base here is quite soft, but this is the way I like it. I don't like it to be like super hard, but usually it's made a little harder. So if you want a little of a harder uh, base, cook the base for longer. But yeah, that is it. This cake is absolutely delicious and it is very decadent, so you obviously don't want to have this every day. But it is a nice treat and it is quite impressive and it's quite different, so it's always nice uh, to try something new 
and I really suggest you try this out. It is an awesome cake, and it's quite delicious. And uh, I think all the twists I did to this did this cake justice because it turned out pretty good and uh, everyone loved it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you sailors on the next cruise.